16 A man walks past the Statue of Women of Justice as he arrives at the Petrsky District Court in Kiev during Russia's attack on Ukraine. October 18, 2023. Thomas Peter acquires licensing rights summary There is a large shortage of judges in Ukraine. Hiring spree aims to fill more than 2,000 vacant positions The initiative comes as the EU pressures Kiev to overhaul the judiciary Public confidence in the judicial system has plummeted Kiev. October 19 Vera Levko, a judge in Ukraine's capital Kiev, usually hears dozens of administrative cases and scores of criminal hearings every day. She says there are people much busier than she and she. When Levko explains his workload to his colleagues abroad, they have a hard time believing it. They don't understand how a judge can keep so much information in his head. He told at the Dniprovsky District Court, Ukraine is acutely short of judges. Launching a long-delayed nationwide hiring spree to fill more than 2,000 vacancies and vet as many judges for possible abuses. The ambitious effort during the country's war with Russia is key to clearing a backlog of cases that has delayed justice for many Ukrainians. This is also central to reinforcing the rule of law, which is a condition for Ukraine to one day join the European Union. Even before Russia's full-scale invasion in February 2022, President Volodymyr Zelensky had signaled Ukraine's desire to join the EU. This meant that fighting corruption and embracing good governance became priorities. A survey released this month by Razumkov Center think tank in Kyiv found that only 18 of Ukrainians trust the courts. This is legacy of a judicial system long eroded by corruption. The judiciary continues to be regarded as one of the least trusted and credible institutions, the European Commission said in a 2022 note. Disaster attempts to reform the courts following the 2014 Maiden Revolution, which toppled a pro-Russian president and set Kiev on a pro-Western course, were only partially successful and met with systematic resistance. According to observers, the two judicial management bodies responsible for hiring and disciplining judges were effectively frozen for years leaving approximately 2,600 positions vacant, or about a third of the judiciary, due to the retirement or dismissal of judges. As a result, cases have piled up across Ukraine. Some courtrooms have been converted into storage areas filled with case files. At the Regional Appeals Court in Sumy, northeastern Ukraine, only four judges remain out of a full staff of 35. If only two justices retire, as they have the right to do now, the court will face complete deadlock. There is not a single court in Ukraine with a normal workload, said Ruslan Sidorovich, deputy chairman the High Qualification Commission of Judges, which oversees the selection judges. The war imposes an additional burden as nearly 100,000 crimes Russia allegedly committed are already being investigated. The two governing bodies, 